Hello, my name's Lisa. If this is your first time here, then thank you very much for joining me. If you are a returning subscriber, then just know I really do appreciate you. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my channel members. Your support means so much to me. Today's video is going to be a top fails and this is number 10 and we are going to watch two very short videos from two different MLM huns. So let's go. When I first joined, I'll tell you, dramatic pause. This lady is in the MLM Senegence, which is all to do with makeup, I believe. I asked every single person, every single person, everyone. So if you have not gone through and asked every single person, um, I think you're doing yourself and I think you're doing them a disservice. Here's why. If you truly believe that you have found a pot of gold, that is unlimited, that can provide gold for every single person you know, and you're not telling them about it, that's like a red flag to me. So even though it can feel spammy, it can feel salesy, it can feel icky, it can make you feel like, like for me, I would say, oh, I don't want to be that girl. I never once felt like that girl. I never once felt like I was icky. I felt like, <laughs> and this is crazy because it happened, I felt like, Five years from now, when I have dramatically changed my life, I don't want a single person to go, why didn't she take me with her? Wow, in that very small clip, she's telling us when we join a multi-level marketing company, we should tell every single person we know that we are in a multi-level marketing company and try and get them to either just purchase some products or do that as well as join us in the opportunity. And she's very confident that people will join. Unfortunately, everyone is not like her. A lot of people are told it's a pyramid scheme and they're not really sure what to believe. So therefore, they don't want to tell people <laughs> that they're in a multi-level marketing company because they know they are going to come up with some resistance. So even though that was only very short, I just thought it was important to say to you, please don't approach everybody you know to join your company because you may lose a lot of friends doing that. And it does feel spammy to keep getting messages from your friends to join things all the time. This next fails is coming from a person in my name. Hi guys. I hope you all I hope you've all had a great Monday. I just got off a oh, one of my first like team training slash meetings with um my wider team. Um I was super nervous but I feel so good now that I've done it. Is it just me or does she look seriously nervous still? She's been doing this for about nine or ten months now and she still seems like a nervous wreck. I have made another video about her, which you can find up there. I'll link it. And if you look at that, in that one, she's crying her eyes out. Um, so at least in this one, she's not crying, but she still does look like she's not enjoying what she's doing, in my opinion. Um, and it just makes me so much more passionate. Um, so I really wanted to just to come on here and let you know, um, you know, what my mission is and why I'm here and why I'm doing this business. And that's, hey, Kimmy, that's, oh, there's so many reasons, but, um, for me, I started this business because I was just coming off maternity leave and I didn't want to return back to work. I wanted to stay at home with my babies. I didn't want to miss a precious moment.
I find it quite ironic. When they talk about their children, they always say they don't want to miss a precious moment. But at the end of the day, not every single woman can be a stay-at-home mum. That's just totally not possible. And I always feel like they're shaming the mums that go to work and to me that just feels so icky it just doesn't sit right with me at all um and i know there's so many other women out there that feel the same um a lot i know a lot of women you know want to you know drop hours and be at home more i know women um that want to that are already at stay at home mums and um you know want to help contribute financially um help their husbands out you know with inflation the cost of living the interest rates christmas guys it would be an honor to help as many women as i can like put money in the pockets of women that deserve that deserve it okay um all women deserve to earn money surely not sure, not really sure what she means by that. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't come across right what she's saying to me. I can literally help you earn $2,500 in your first 60 days. We get paid five times a month. On the 15th of every month, we get paid a big bonus check. There's two 15ths of the month before Christmas. That is an income claim. That goes against your compliance rules at Monet, so you are not allowed to say that. And not only that, you personally cannot promise that amount of money to anyone because you could get five people to join your team, but if none of them manage to recruit a single person, then they're not going to earn any money, are they? So if you are going to make a claim like that, you have to put a disclaimer in and you haven't. Like, so much money to be made and I want to help as many women as possible. As little as $320 or $375 um, if you want a customizable pack. I can help you make your money back within two weeks and 2500 in your first 60 days. Um, what you've just said there is very contradictory. On the one hand, you're saying about inflation and the cost of living and helping your spouse out to pay the bills. And on the other hand, you're trying to get someone to spend over $300. Well, if they are struggling financially, please tell me where these people are going to find this $300 then. So how do we do that? Okay, so... What you need to do is help 15 people. You're going to help 15 people. 12, you're going to help 12 of them wash their hair, help them love their hair again, build their confidence by switching out their products. Um, if you haven't seen my before and after, please do yourself a favor. This is naturally air-dried hair from today. Um, like, I'm just coming on here. Um, this is something I wouldn't normally do in a video. I never generally comment on anybody's appearance or their hair. But since you brought it up, your hair has been naturally air dried. And I've got to say, it doesn't look that amazing to me. I have seen you in many other videos where your hair is just straight. And it does in those videos look very good but not so much in this one not, not about that but um and then you're going to help three people start their own business um or purchase a product pack and enjoy a 30 percent discount um ongoing when you sign up with monet there are no there's no red flags here guys there is no minimum minimum monthly spend um, so once you purchase your product pack, you don't have to put another cent into your business if you don't choose to. But that's not true, is it? You're saying that you can just spend $300 and odd dollars on a pack and you don't have to spend any more money if you don't want to. 
but that's not correct. If you want to do this as a business, then you are going to have ongoing expenses because you are going to be expected to wash people's hair. Well, are you just going to use a product from your local store to do that then? No, obviously you're not. You're going to be using the Monet products. Um, you're getting a box of shampoos and skin care and other products. Well, it's not an endless supply, is it? It's just one box and it will run out. So what do you do then? Give up the business when it runs out? No, I don't think that's what you're saying, is it? So be more precise in what you're saying, please, ma'am. There's no yeah, so there's no inventory, there's no monthly fees, there's no quotas. Um you get your own personalized website. We have a customer service that's available nine to five, Monday to Friday, and they are so incredible. They're so helpful. And, you know, they do a lot of the work for us. All we do is help make a customizable cart in hair care, skin care, makeup, skin care, makeup, um, and now wellness. Um, we can literally help people heal their hair and heal their body, um, heal their face and skin, give them confidence, you know. Are you making health claims now? You can heal hair, you can heal skin, you can heal their body. Um, are you sure about that? Because from what I've seen of Monet on social media and in court cases, there are a lot of arguments against what you're saying. So I don't think you can actually make those claims, can you? There's another mission of mine is to give women confidence. I was so scared starting this business and I know there's so many others that are as well. So confidence comes after action and even just getting off this call that I just done, like I do feel a lot more confident and I've had actually so many people, so many lovely messages sent to me to say, you know, I've loved watching your journey. I've loved watching your aura um, change. You know, I've watched love, loving your um, hair journey. You know, oh, I've noticed this about you. I've noticed that, you know, so many, you know. That sounds to me like you've received an awful lot of love bombing from other people in Monet as opposed to the general public just writing that to you lovely messages and you know I was so scared to say yes and now I don't know why um I was scared that um I was scared of failure I was scared of judgment um she doesn't know why she was scared and then she proceeds to tell us two reasons why she was scared. She was scared of judgment. So she knew before she got in that she was going to get judged for her choices. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter anyway because no one's paying my bills. Like they're not paying, no one else is paying my bills except for me and my husband. So what matters to me is um, being able to help contribute um, help my husband out, you know, um, and then I've... In my opinion, you can tell that she's just come back from a trip to do with the MLM and she's been surrounded by people in it because now she's picking up the speak, the lingo. She's learning to say that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. All it matters is that I help my husband to pay my bills. So the indoctrination has really gotten through to her now, hasn't it? So many other incredible things um, that I didn't expect in this business, like Bahamas. I've just got back from an all expenses paid trip to the Bahamas. Um, I'm another month qualified today to towards the next trip in Port Douglas. Um, You've just gotten back from an all expenses pay trip, but what did you have to do in order to get that? You had to recruit X amount of people 
every month you had to maintain rank and you had to purchase products so it's not like it was absolutely free that's how you make it sound like you didn't actually have to do anything and this trip was just given to you but that's not actually the case is it and i'm just a stay-at-home mum of two boys and i do this business around their life i i literally run this business when my boys are asleep so i'm a present mum because this whole thing would defeat the purpose um this business would defeat the purpose if i you know wasn't present i want i don't want to miss a precious pre precious moment um i always give credit where credit is due and i must admit in every video i have seen with this person i have never seen or heard her children so i do totally believe that at the moment she is doing this when her kids are asleep and that's good you've just come back from the bahamas were you a present mum there or did you leave your kids at home i've seen quite a lot of your pictures and little videos that you made when you were in the bahamas and i didn't see you with your children which is good but i didn't hear you mention them either so it's okay to be present at home but not when you go on a trip that's a bit for double standard isn't it if any of this is resonating with you i make it my mission to help as many women as i can help as many women earn an income from their phone around their family's life teach you how to fit it into your life um stop the mindless scroll like i used to watch netflix and just scroll mindlessly for hours on my phone for nothing like how, how like i will teach you how to monetize your time um but yeah i'll wrap it up there thank you so much for listening if anyone has any questions any questions at all i would love to hear from you and love to help you um so um yeah i hope to hear from you soon good night i don't understand this mindless scroll thing it's not something that i've ever actually done and when my children were small and i had four under the age of five i was always too busy you know cleaning up after them and cooking and shopping and washing and changing beds and doing general housework to have time to do any kind of mindless scroll and when they went to school i went to work so you know i've never been a mindless scroll person and even though i've got the time now i still don't mindlessly scroll i do scroll social media to find content but obviously to me that's not mindless i've actually got a pet well that was it for this top fails number 10 video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video bye bye for now